and the script that has really been guiding me for the last 24 hours when we made the decision that we would do something like this, so if you don't mind. It's Luke chapter 12, verse 11 through 12. And it says, when you are brought to trial in the synagogues and brought before the rulers and authorities, don't worry about how you will defend yourself and what you will say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you and will guide you and tell you what needs to be said. If you guys know me, well, my teammates can attest to this. I, I speak from my heart. So one thing that I want to get off my chest that I, I feel like needs to be said is that the death of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and countless more, we're not here to grieve their deaths, but to celebrate and honor their lives. We honor their lives through how we make effective change in our community. We honor their lives by how we remain proactive in our activism. We honor their lives by standing for what's right, standing against racism, standing against oppression. The second reason we're here is to honor Juneteenth, because on this day in 1865, the United States government by federal law abolished slavery in our country and thereby emancipated our slaves. So for, a lot, for all black people of this country, today is our 4th of July. It's our Independence Day. And may it always be recognized as such. Y'all got me gassed up, man. Let's work, baby. Let's work. <laughs> Throughout this last couple of weeks, uh, you know, I've been on several calls. I've talked to so many people uh, with this Black Lives Matter movement. And I get a lot of questions about, Dale, how can I help? How do I become an ally in this, in this fight? What's the most effective way for me to bring about change? My, 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 my response to them is always threefold. It comes by, one, a commitment to your community. Two, a commitment to diversifying your perspective and diversifying our education. And three, my personal favorite is our accountability within our community. Let me circle back around to the front though. See, last year I suffered a season ending injury. At that time I was also a part-time student. So I had a lot of free time on my hands. And in that time, God called me to serve, to serve better than I had before to dig deeper, to dig deeper into the community of South Bend. So I took my behind straight down Notre Dame Avenue and I went to Robinson Center. I actually brought my beautiful fiance, baby, there you are. Shout out to my girl. <laughs> so we went down and we went to seek how we could be more involved in our community. They then took me and Jazz and implemented us into the south side of South Bend at Lincoln Elementary. We were teaching conflict resolution with fourth and fifth graders twice a week. When we walked into the building, the kids, the faculty, the principal, the teachers, the janitors, they all looked at us shocked. As if we were some type of ideal that they could that was not accessible to them. We're right down the street. We're right down the street from these little black kids and black and brown kids that need our, our leadership, that need our mentorship that need our service, that need our love, our compassion. These young men that stand before me, these are some of the most God-fearing, <laughs> these are some of the most God-fearing, hard-working young men I've ever met. Educated, successful, have a platform. They need these mentors. There's little kids in our community, hundreds of them, hundreds of thousands of them, that will benefit from our leadership, our mentorship, our brotherhood, our empathy, our compassion, our representation, Notre Dame cannot just be an ideal. It can't be something that our community looks at and says, wow, that's great, but it's never gonna be for me. To hell with that. So I talk about a commitment to our community, not just serving certain parts of our community, serving our whole community these black and brown kids that need examples, tangible examples to see what success, what, 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 uh, to overcome adversity, what that looks like, to overcome circumstance. It's a lot of stories in this group. It's a lot of stories in this group. My second point is diversifying our perspectives. See, throughout this, throughout this movement, I've also seen a lot of, it's a harsh line of demarcation, right? It's either you're racist or you're not. Either you hate black people or you don't. That's not true. It's much more complicated than that. 
There are a large amount of people, and I would argue a majority of our campus, faculty, students included, that are just not educated. They don't know what they don't know. Not to say that they wouldn't do anything for you. Not to say if I went to my coach right now and said, coach, I need you, he wouldn't be there for me. No, that's not it. You just don't know what it means to be a black man in America. The fear that our parents feel when they send us out in the world and don't know if we're gonna come back the same way they left us. To be murdered in broad daylight. These are the realities that our players, our students face. Far beyond when we take off a gold helmet, far beyond when we take off a, a Notre Dame monogram, we're still a black man, black woman. We have to diversify our perspective, diversify our leadership, diversify our representation in places of power in this campus and in this community. I challenge Notre Dame, we have two, yeah, these guys can attest to it, we have two required Theos, we have two required Philos, why not make a, manda a mandated cultural competency course for our incoming freshmen? Come on, man, y'all talking to me, man. Let's, you feel me? Let's educate. Knowledge is power, you heard it since you was born. Let's educate. Let's move together in unity. My final point is accountability. See, what separates our team from a lot of teams in the country, what separates our organization from a lot of teams in the country, is our accountability is through the roof. No longer, over these last couple years, no longer is it acceptable for a coach to say something. Coach is the last line of defense. We hold each other to the, the same standard. The standard is the standard. What does that mean? That means when I go into a weight room and I give everything I got, that's no longer accept, that's not enough. It's not enough for me to give everything I have on a rep. It's my job to hold my brother accountable. That's the vow that we made to each other. We stand together. If there's a problem, we will handle it. No, no problem, coach, we'll take care of it. We need to adopt that same mentality in our community. No longer is it okay to say, I have black friends. I treat black people with respect. It's not good enough. The, the same standard that you hold yourself to is the same standard that we should be holding each other to. It's not enough just to be on your own. We stand together. I'll leave you with this. Coach Grimes always tells us in fellowship, when we're born, God creates us. He creates us and breathes life into us. But not only does he breathe life into us, he breathes gifts. He breathes gifts into each and every one of us. And each of those gifts are designed to be used to manifest and grow the kingdom of God. And it means absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing to have these gifts breathed into you for you to hold your breath and not excel them back into the world. So my challenge to you, continue to excel your time, your resources, your love, your empathy, your compassion. We have some of the most capable minds here at Notre Dame. We pride ourselves on it. Look what we were able to do in 24 hours. Imagine if we used this, this, this time, this platform, this resources, and aimed it at creating a more equal and unified community. Imagine where we'd be. So with that, man, those three points, a commitment to our community, a commitment to education, and a, commu uh, and a, and a accountability amongst our community. I promise you, if we commit to these three things, we can all look each other in the eye and say that we left Notre Dame better than when we found it. <laughs>